Hey guys, so right now I'm on my way to the emergency room. My mom got hurt yesterday and she basically didn't tell me, neither my sister. So in the middle of the night, her hand was hurting like really bad. She said that she woke up crying and I didn't even know like what was going on until today. So uh, basically yesterday she was cleaning and somehow she like she got a cut on her hand and it was like bleeding because like she took out like a like a thorn from her hand and i thought it was like a little thorn like from the nopal like a nopal so i'm like oh it's it's fine i didn't go check on her because i usually go check on her but she has like a big cut from an agave if you guys don't know what an agave plant is i'm gonna put a picture right here i'm gonna put the exact plant so basically she like poked herself on the top and if you guys know the agave plants like they're really like like pointy from the top like they're like a sword basically and so like right now her hand is super swollen and we had to take her to the emergency room we're on our way right now so i'm like looking at her hand right now and i'm like damn like how could she not tell me and yeah so i'm still like shocked i barely got the news this morning because she was like oh you guys need to take me to the emergency room because my hand is hurting like really bad like i took uh, Asaminotofen or whatever like 500 milligrams and it didn't work so yeah her hand is uh, hurting really bad so she's like in a lot of pain like she was crying right now and yeah well it sucks um, but yeah we're on our way right now and I'll keep you guys updated I'm gonna show you guys her hand because it looks really bad like it looks damn like I'm, I'm like damn how did you let that happen but I mean we're already on our way, but yeah, she's gonna be fine. I'm gonna show you guys her hand. So as you guys could tell, her hand is really swollen, like literally, like she hasn't been able to move it like at all, like her fingers, like she can't move them at all, like they're numb and it's just crazy. And she's only been able like to move it like up and down like this, like, like nothing. And yeah guys, it looks really bad. Like, look at her knuckles, like, that's just crazy. Like, oh my god. And there's the, the cut, but it's actually bigger than it looks. And so she told me that she took it out, the thorn by herself, and that she started bleeding a lot. And I guess she doesn't know, like, the first aid, like, guide, but it's okay, we know. We know how to handle this. I'm going to la mano normal. Oh my god. So yeah guys it's super swollen. Like I'm still like damn. Like we don't even know if the plant is poisonous or like we don't know nothing. So yeah it sucks. But yeah we're on our way to the emergency room right now. We're gonna see what happens. <laughs> so guys we just got out of the emergency room and it had been like three hours three hours later and she ended up getting an x-ray uh, to check if there was like any pieces of the thorn in there in her hand and there wasn't anything in there so that's pretty good and they ended up giving her antibiotics they gave her a tetanus shot and they also gave her pain medicine, pain medication. And they said that she's not gonna be able to work for like a week. So yeah, I think that's pretty good. Just don't work for a week, that's fine. And yeah, I'm just glad that she feels better and she got help because uh, I was like, damn, they're gonna chop off your hand because it looked really swollen. Like she, she started crying because I told her, but I didn't mean to like make her cry in the morning. But yeah, I got really worried. I'm like, oh damn, like it must have got infected like with the dirt or like, yeah, it just like super infected. <laughs> Maybe they're gonna chop it off, but no, I was just, I was just like overthinking. Um, but yeah, so she has to come tomorrow like to check it again. The doctors kept checking up on her. Like they didn't know what was like going on. And they also let her know like, um, maybe she's allergic to the agave because it did get swollen. And 
or maybe she's diabetic and she doesn't know but that we don't know of she's gonna have to get some tests done but maybe she is allergic because she did say the other day that um she basically touched the agave and it burned her so i'm not sure but yeah she's fine guys so yeah we spent like the whole like two hours in the room waiting outside because they didn't let us in and i couldn't really get nothing like no videos so yeah i was checking her in and my mom only knows spanish so i had to translate for her while i was checking her in and then my sister had to translate and you guys know it's like a whole thing so that's why i didn't get any clips for you guys we're on our way home and yeah she looks she looks like she's feeling better she's not she looks like she's not in pain no more i'm gonna show you guys so there she is Como te sientes? Todavía? Ahorita te recogemos tu medicina y a la cama. Sí. Y sopa marucha. Nah, sopa marucha. <laughs> so, yeah, we're on our way home. I don't know, she said she's hungry. You want to get something to eat for her, Lupe? We're going to see where we go, comer? take her to eat. ¿Qué quieres comer? Ahí te. Vamos a la hija. A la IHOP? Spencer's? Todavía está abierto. Spencer's? Spencer's? Yo te doy comida en la hoja. ¿Qué lupita? ¿Se llama? ¿O te quieres ir para Un, ¿Unos pancakes? No, yo quiero como un menudo. Mm. ¿Un menudo? Ahí tienen enchiladas. ¿Dónde? En Spencer's. Y le puedes decir que no queso. Sí, está bien buenas. Unas enchiladas de chile verde. Yeah. Fire. So, yeah, guys, we're gonna be on our way to Spencer's Cafe. So, my mom could eat. Um, we had some snacks while we were in the in the break room. I mean, not the break room, the waiting room. <laughs> the break room. Well, it seemed like a, a break room because they have snacks, you know. <laughs> but yeah, we're on our way. I'll talk to you guys when I'm there. Yeah. It's like the air My mom got the breakfast enchiladas and then we got Lupita got nothing that nah. we got the combo skillet. Here's the meat. We got a biscuit. Bien <laughs> buenas. buenas. Papá llevando. <laughs>